Shopify in 2023, this year, launched the color scheme, which I am super pumped about it. I've been wanting to talk about it because I can talk about colors forever. I'm going to show you how to set up your color scheme so that you can use your colors exactly how you want them on your website for each section. It is so, so cool. I am so pumped to talk about it. So let's jump into the dashboard. But before we do that, I just want to welcome you to the channel. Hello, my name is Betsy from Betsy Lugo Creative. And I am a Shopify web designer and I'm here showing you all of my tips, tricks and resources so that you can design a Shopify store that you're proud of. Let's jump into the dashboard and let's talk about color. So now you can create different color schemes and apply them to the different sections um, throughout your online store. All right, so the color scheme is just a set of colors. So that's all it is. is so now you're able to set groups of color for your website. Okay, so we're on the dashboard on the project that I'm currently working on. Um, I am super pumped for this brand to launch. It has been so much fun working on it. I mean, look at the name of it. I mean, fucking shine, like <laughs> what's not to love about working with a brand like this. But anyway, um, I can't wait for them to launch and see, you know, and see all of the success. I just can't wait. But anyway, coming back to the uh, color scheme. So the color scheme is just a set of colors, right? So now in Shopify, you can set the sets of colors, how you want them to appear. Okay. So my, in my experience, the best way to be able to see, um, to create the color schemes, the color combinations is to have, um, is to either use the product, the featured product, um, section or the text with image section. And the reason for that is because they all have all of the elements that you would need to make sure that their color schemes, as you apply them, throughout your website, they're what you want, right? So those sections have titles, it has prices, it has um, buttons, it has, you know, it has all of those things that you want to apply universal to the other sections. I hope that makes sense, right? Um, so before you start creating your own color schemes, though, make sure that your branding is already set up. So just in case, I'll put a link for how to set up your branding. So quick demo here is you go to your dashboard and you go on to your settings, then you go to your brand. So this is where you set up your branding colors. Okay. So once you have them set here, it'll be much easier to set your color schemes. Okay. The reason why I'm telling you to set up your brand color first is for this dynamic button here. If you don't do that first, and then you have to come in here and do this for every color, however, you know, however you want it. But if you do the dynamic colors here like if you ever change your brand colors or anything like that it's if this is already set um then when you update your brand colors all of these will automatically update for you that's what those dynamic buttons are they pull information that's already set somewhere else on your website to help you um save time all right so now that is all set up so let's go to this uh, features section and this is what I will tell you to do. So um, right here, the color schemes right now, we have um, set five of them for the client. I'm going to work on number six um, as a demo for you. But you can now do up to, I believe, like an insane amount, like 21 color schemes that you can set. So this is how you would create a color scheme over here. So you go to your, uh, your theme settings, then you go to your colors. And then here are your color schemes, right? So you can simply just add a color scheme. If you already have your brand set up, you can add a color scheme and it's very simple. You just click on color. I don't want to add another one, but just add a color scheme here. So this is the one we're going to be working on. And so what you will do is go here to the section, click on that color scheme that you're going to be working on, right? There's a method, method to the madness, right? So click on that color scheme, right? Ugh, terrible, right? But click on it. And now you're going to come back to the color scheme over here. Click on the color scheme that you're setting, right? So, and the reason for that is that as you're applying the colors here, you see it in that section. Okay. So the background color, we don't, I definitely don't want the yellow. So we want to go ahead and replace it. And we want to use the, now for whatever reason, I don't know if it's a glitch in the system. I'm not sure, but as you can see, you don't see all of the colors that I have in my branding. Hopefully yours doesn't show that way, 
but I know off memory that the what I have set as white is the contrasting color. Okay, so I'm going to pick the contrasting color and you see there confirming that that is correct. And so we're going to go ahead and set the background white. So you see what I mean? You can see what you're applying in the section. All right, so you go ahead and click on white. We're going to go ahead and now make the text. Um, we're going to go ahead and replace that with the black. And I believe is the secondary. Yep, that's the secondary. Now it's a little bit of a delay. All right, perfect. Now the solid color, we're going to make the background button here. We're going to go ahead and make it yellow, replace it with the primary color, which is the yellow. Let that update. Okay, great. Now the solid button label, this is for the text that is inside. So it's the black. So we're going to go ahead and leave it black. And then the outline here, the outline button is actually the outline to this add to cart button. Okay. So I know Shopify is not listening to this channel, but in case you are listening to the channel, the only thing you missed out on is I want to be able to change the background to this button. So, all right. So right now we're going to go ahead and set that to the black. All right. And then the shadow, we're going to go ahead and set the shadow to the gray, which is the second one. Okay. And so I have the, I have the shadow um, set really low, so you can't really tell right here, but I do have the shadow there. So I'm going to go ahead and save and let me go ahead and go to this section here and update it. All right. And that's how it would look. Okay. So now you can come click back and now you have all of the different color combinations. And so you can see now when you're working with the different sections, you can go about changing these sections that correspond to these color schemes here. So let me show you here. So now you can come here and then once you have your sections, then you'll see, okay, do I want color scheme number one, combination number two, color scheme number three, and so on and so forth. Okay. So for this particular section, we're going to go with color uh, combination number six. Okay. So I think that that would look good. However, I would really want the button to be black. So either this yellow and this one black or vice versa. So I will have to, if I go with this color combinations for this section, I'm going to have to do some CSS um, to change that. But that is how you set up your color scheme. Super fun. Um, I, like I said, I could play around with this forever. So now I want to show you how to use gradients. So how to customize your gradient. So my suggestion when you're setting up your gradient is to start with one of these pre-made selections for you based on what you want. Look at these here and start with what it is that you want to accomplish, right? So they're already there for you. So just use it instead of starting from scratch. Okay. So let's say we want to, let's do this two color one, right? So let's go ahead and select that one. And that gives us a base to work with. And so what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and change the colors. So right, we're, there's a little bit of a delay in the update, but all right. So what you do is now is that you grab the color. So this one's already selected and I'm going to go ahead and choose my brand colors, right? So let's go ahead and do, well, let's play around with the white and the gray. Okay. So now the gray is already set. And then for the second color, just click on right inside of the circle and that will bring up the second color. And so we're going to go ahead and make that white. Okay. So those are the, uh, the gradient two colors that we're going to, um, play with right now. I'm waiting for it to update. Okay. All right. So there it is, right? So you see how the gray is on one side and the white is over here. All right. So now what you can do is that you have two different options here. So we already selected that we want that kind of that, the line, right? So we're going is diagonal. And so how about we want to change the lines to be a different direction kind of, right? So what we'll do is you grab this little circle here and then you turn the this, this circle so that the gray or the white is where you want it, right? So let's say we want the gray on the top and the white down here, or maybe we want the gray on the right side. So here you can play around where, where you want the darker color to come from, from the top, from the bottom, 
so on and so forth, right? So that's how you do that one. If you change your mind and you want a circle, then you can just go ahead and click on the circle and it will add the dark color in the center, all right? Um, but you can also change that too. So let's say you want the white in the center, you just click on here and just uh, change the colors, right? So we'll work on this line here. And so what you can also do here is that you can make the white and the gray even amount of color on the board, right? So you see how the gray comes all the way over here, all right? So how you would do that is that you would increase this number here, right? So because we want it to be 50%, right? So right now, and when you're working with this is this color. So I am making the white 50% because I want to see more of the white, right? You can either go down or you can just click 50. All right, so now I want a half and half, right? So if we move, I don't know if those two color combinations might not look very good. Let me change the this to black so you can see a little bit, maybe a little bit more. All right, let that update. All right, that's a little bit better. You can see that a little bit better, all right? So that is how you can apply the gradient, okay? So um, so always select the color that you want to mo you want more or less of, right? And then you can just play with it. So right now, we can also have the intensity. So let's say the, dark, the black, we want the intensity of the black to be a little bit less, right? Or the transparency, I should say, not intensity, the transparency. You can lower the transparency of the black here. So you have a lot of, lot of flexibility for how your gradient is set. So let's go back to the circle. And so let's see how the circle looks, if we like it better or worse. And we know already how with the transparency, probably wouldn't work if we want a circle. So let's go ahead and move, the, move that up a little bit more, right? So now, as I said, you can switch this up. So let's say you want the white to be in the center. So you go ahead, make sure, as I said, make sure that that circle is the one that's selected. So you see the black here and then you make that white. Okay. And then you look for oh, the other color disappeared on me. All right. You can just click on here and then make it black. There we go. And that way you have them again, you can set it however you want it. So there we go. All right. So you just have the black around the edges there. And then you see how hard this white is right here you can soften that up. So make sure that you're selecting the white. And then again, you can soften that white up just a little bit more, right? So this is way, one way that you can soften that white. Just bring, you can use, click on the circle and then just play with this around here. I could be here for hours, okay? <laughs> All right, but that you get the picture on how flexible you can be and creative you can be with your gradient. Okay, my friends, that is how you set up the new color scheme feature in Shopify. It is super fun. As I said, I can talk about this forever. So let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. If this helped you all, give me a thumbs up. Check out this video here where it shows you how to set up your branding. There's different sections in Shopify that you have to set up your branding. So I walk you through all of that. So until next time, my friends, adios. So check it out. Let me know if you have any comments. All of your branding, not just your color, all of your. Okay, so the reason that we. So the reason. So the reason that I told you to add the. Okay. So the reason. The reason why. The reason why I asked. Where. The reason why I. Oh my lord.